Video Queen, and I just wanted to demonstrate for you how to move XRP from Uphold to your ledger using your phone and your computer. I know that sounds confusing, and I hopefully will get this clear for you. Um, I had to do it the same way that I showed someone on a one on one call, but I thought since she had her Uphold set up just on her telephone and not able to log in on the computer. That's for 2FA security reasons, which she needed to fix with a support ticket. But in order to get the call uh, forwarded, you know, with her and the one-on-one -on -one session going with her and get her to move the XRP to Ledger without having to deal with that, this is what we did. So I just want to show you this real quick. Um, okay, so here's your Ledger live opening. Mine keep spinning with synchronizing up on top because I don't have my ledger actually plugged in. This is just for demonstration purposes so that you can see what to do if you only have your uphold on your phone at the moment, okay? Because I know this is frustrating, but that is what email is for, okay? So I'm going to show you this. So I'm going to just minimize this because we're just going to receive XRP here, okay? Um, and that's it. You'll have your device plugged in and all that other business, but that's not really relevant to this now because that will show up on your device. You'll click the two buttons on the side of your ledger device, which looks like a flash drive, and then you'll receive it. So that part's the simple part. This is the part if you're only on your phone. Okay, so first of all, this is what it looks like on your phone. You punch in your code to get in, okay? I took screenshots of all of this so that you can see what to do on your phone and then what to email yourself, okay? All right, so that's that one. Okay, here's what I have in my portfolio at the moment. Okay, some XRP. I wanted to have, you know, just a 1,000 XRP on there and some XDC. At the moment, should you have this question, XDC can only be held in Uphold or you can use Sinfin Wallet. That is X-I-N-F-I-N Wallet. And I did a video on that. I'll put the link in the description box below if you're interested in that. Okay, so here's your portfolio. And then let me make sure I have these in the right order. No, I don't, of course. Okay, so here you go to anything to anything. This is right on your opening page. Um, click on transact right there. Okay, that'll be on the bottom of your page at the moment that you open it. And then if you're going to move, um, if you're afraid to move all of your XRP off of Uphold, you know, do a test run, do 25. Never do less than 20 because they don't, allow that. There's minimums for all altcoins to move, So, and that minimum is 20. So don't try to move five as a test run. Use at least 20 to 25 and do your test run. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Yes, it converts it to U.S. dollar. And then here's your XRP network, which you are going to choose. When you scan down on this page, uh, you'll click Done, and it'll say um, Review Your Transaction, and it will take you here you have to click on XRP Ledger Network, okay? And then uh, what you do, where is that? Hold on a second, uh, let me find it, right here. Okay, so you're gonna withdraw XRP to XRP Wallet. Okay, so what you're gonna do is grab your XRP address from your ledger, okay, your receive, and you're gonna put your XRP address in here, right there. Okay, you do not need a destination tag. And then you click next. Okay. So you use your email to get that address from your ledger to your phone. Okay. So what I did was I grabbed my address from ledger, my receive my XRP address, and I emailed it to myself. And this is what I had her do while we were on our Zoom phone call. Email it to yourself and pick up your email on your phone. Copy the address from your phone, from your email, put it in here, hit next, and your transaction is done, okay? Now go back to your inbox and delete that immediately okay you don't want your address hanging out there in the atmosphere make sure you delete it take it to the trash can empty your trash delete forever okay 
So hopefully this was a quick one on how to do that. If you have any confusion over to what, what to email and when, or if this wasn't clear, please post it in the comments. Hopefully I described this, how I went over it on this Zoom session with her. It's much easier when you're in a Zoom session, obviously. So if you need a one-on-one -on -one, uh, Zoom call yourself, feel free to email me at zendevin at gmail.com. Please put crypto in uppercase letters in the subject header because I get a lot of email and I wouldn't want to miss yours. Or you can hit me up in the comments and I will suggest a way to get in contact with me privately so we could set that up. Uh, also, if you would hit the subscribe button, bell notifications, and give this video a thumbs up, it really does help with the algorithm and growing my YouTube channel and I really appreciate it and you. And um, love you all. Thanks for being with me for so long. And I'll catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.